Hey everyone, Zef here, welcome to Mother Gunship Forge Overview. This is essentially what you get for catching Pokemon on a scooter and not driving properly. I say it's worth it, but my body says otherwise, cause I can't sleep now on my right side. Look at it this way, I can regenerate, but my Pokeballs have to be filled with something. No, I'm not addicted, I just need to do something while coming back home. So Mother Gunship Forge is an action-packed arcade wave shooter mayhem. On the first glance, like Space Pirate Trainer on steroids, key selling point to this game is that the gameplay revolves all around building your own weapons, so kind of like an arcsmith but in shooter genre. It says the experience is set in room scale movement, so that automatically implies we're gonna be stationary and there's no way of moving around other than just with your body. Projects like that tend to be very chaotic and hard to grasp what even is going on. It's like a pure definition of an arcade where you shoot stuff for a few minutes, change environments. Here also a multiplayer co-op mode is included, which is nice. It's not reinventing the wheel per se, it kind of borrow specific features and merging them all together in one project. Definitely could be fun, there seems to be some comedy involved, I don't see myself playing more than 15 minutes, and sometimes it's not really a bad thing since you need a break from whatever you have been put through in a short time period. Let's go shoot stuff. <laughs> Ow. Dang it recruit, wake up! Get your tail moving! Pick up a gun part and get out of here! Hand cannons? I mean, there should be a gun part there, right? Okay, well, try the next room. Hold X or A at target door icon to go to the next room. Yeah? No locomotion. <laughs> you can target a door to move on. Try it now. Get moving. Ow! Oh, hot dag nabbit on a stick! They found us! Charge up your fists and keep the charge held while you punch explode those critters. Okay. <laughs> That's just very hands-on tutorial. Float like a butterfly, sting like a dump truck. You showed those staple hounds. Oh, hey, look at that, gun parts. Try pulling that connector part to you now. Use your non-firing hand. Non-firing? Wait, both are fine. <laughs> Will I guess the box? Because it has more slots? Connectors may not look like much, but these babies hold the power of connecting. Look, I didn't name the dang things, okay? Just attach it to the socket on the back of your hand. All right, barrels. You get to try them all eventually, maybe even all at the same time. Isn't the future great? Grab and attach a barrel to the end of your connector. Nice, give it a fire. Hey, not bad. You can spice that up with some special ammo, though. Special ammo do all sorts of fun things to your gun, but they only affect the closest barrel on the gun. Special ammo canisters run out of juice quick, though. You'll have to look for ways to recharge them. All right, get a move on. There are enemies in the next room. I bet they're real angry, too. You probably punch exploded their favorite staple hounds. Welp, good luck. Very straightforward, works immediately. Can I like switch maybe the hands? Amazing. Well, your suit has a lot of options to customize how you fight. Check them out in the options menu. I was gonna say, it's the first time. I can use melee weapons oh, shit, myself. <laughs> in the wave shooter. <laughs> well, watch me fall off my bed today. There's actually a... No, no, no. There's actually a dash and a free movement? I can select it now. <laughs> yes. Ah, an upgrade kit. These things are cool. Target the part of your gun that you want to upgrade. All paths lead to the core of the mother gunship, but the hazards and rewards along the way can be very different. Choose wisely. Movement mode free. 
does it actually work like that? Oh, okay, but like... Aha, uh -huh, it's just in the actual play space, which is fine. Still not what I prefer, but better than just room scale stuff, I suppose. Oh, there was an indicator of a bullet incoming. This is gonna be like a definition of a weight shooter. By destroying the vessel holding it first. Maybe more connector for the future. I'm not sure if it's like ah oh, okay, the entry is here. Got it. So we just basically choose what we want. I mean gun parts. Kind of like a road like scenario? Yeah. I mean, it is kind of cheating, like having mo free movement. But there's an option for it, so I don't care. When I look, it picks up stuff, all right? I see certain upgrades affect kind of like different capabilities for the weapon. Like this is just for melee, so I can't necessarily use it. Yeah, crit. Yeah, actually, in the entrance. <laughs> This is very easy to understand and uh, the gameplay is just right away. you from damage but once it's gone it's gone check your wrist to see how your suit integrity is doing gotcha whoa <laughs> where are you <laughs> Let me do my classic pistol stance. <laughs> it doesn't get destroyed in the lava. Okay, let's combine weapons. <laughs> and less spread because that always is good for shotguns. Good. I can just hold it because 
different weapons have different rate of fire and stuff. Oh my god, do I have to get jump scared in every single game ever? <laughs> This is just Matrix now. <laughs> oh shit! Come on! Was that a distraction? <laughs> yeah, this free locomotion really changes things. Oh shit, my shot! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> well, that was AoE, but no one's here. Who are you shooting at? Let me just maybe stand still and see how hard it is to <laughs> dodge. You need to like focus because some bullets, there's no way they are flying to you. Yes, I see you. <laughs> okay. Free locomotion combined with room scale. That's the tactic. Well, oh, huge propane tank cap and critical cap. All right, don't need to play it more because it's clear what it's about. Essentially, this is a definition of a wave shooter though. Done pretty well, like it's entertaining. You have upgrades and roads like elements. Surprisingly, you can move around like around this circle. So that definitely helps in the gameplay, making it much easier. You customize weapons as you want. You can also detach them for like different I guess angles to shoot. I see literally nothing wrong with it so congrats on the release day because it's pretty solid to me.